Hi, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Rocky Mount Split Rail Hitch Mounted Platform Bicycle Carrier. Here we have it installed in this vehicle which has a two inch receiver hitch. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that part of it where we actually install it onto the receiver hitch. So currently it's in the deployed position. I'll put it into the stowed position. There's a release handle that's up underneath this main tube that allows me to rotate it up. And then now what you can see is we have a turn knob here. So I'm gonna loosen that turn knob and then you can see how I, I'll pull out the hitch pin and then that allows me to pull the, the rack out from the, from the hitch. So now what you can see here is that we've installed in a, in the, uh, in a particular position this collar which has an integrated wedge so this will be positioned onto this stinger in, uh, in a different location depending on which hitch it's installed on. So that's a one-time uh, adjustment for the given hitch that it's installed on. So to install the rack, you simply set it onto the ledge of the hitch, bring it to a vertical position, and then once it gets started, I'm gonna use the hitch pin, insert it through the hitch pin hole, and slide the rack forward until it finds the hole, so I'm using the hitch pin as a feeler. Okay, next, what I'll do is, this is where the uh, wedge comes into play and the turn knob here comes into play. So what's happening is uh, as I'm turning, it's pulling against that hitch pin and, and pulling itself to wedge itself into the, uh, into the receiver hitch. And now you can see it's got a very firm, solid connection there without any wobble at all. Now, um, also, the hitch pin itself is also in there firm and it's not gonna rattle, which is a nice uh, extra side benefit to that design. So this rack includes security, which locks the hitch, has a hitch pin lock, which locks the bike rack to the hitch. And so here, it's in the stowed position. On this particular vehicle, it, has, it does clear, doesn't touch the back of the vehicle, though it is very close. Um, it's important that whichever uh, vehicle that this is installed on, that the hitch is flush with the bumper. If there's any amount of inset on that, uh, the face of the receiver, then it's likely to have contact. And in this case, it doesn't. So here, I'll let you look a little bit closer at the release lever that allows for the rack to change its positions. So you pull up on that release lever, and then once it disengages, that you can let go, and then it'll come down to the stowed position. It also has a further action where you can pull that lever again, let go again after it engages, disengages, and it comes down at an angle. And so that angle is there so that you can have bikes loaded and still access the rear of your uh, vehicle, whether that be a hatch um, for hatches on the back of a wagon or SUV or minivan in, in many cases. So to bring it back to this, the deployed carrying position, all I have to do is lift. I don't actually have to pull that lever. I just lift and it automatically comes up and snaps into that position. So now we'll go ahead and load a bike and I'll load it into the uh, inside position so that when we do demonstrate the, uh, the access feature, it's uh, in the innermost position. So this is of course a platform rack, which means the bikes will rest in that tray and then this hook will ratchet down onto the front wheel. So I'm gonna extend that uh, to the opposite direction. Also what I wanna do on this side is go ahead and open up the uh, rear wheel ratchet strap. There's just a push button here that I'll, I'll press that button, pull it out, and there's a, a nice little handy thoughtful feature where you have the hole here and this clip and it keeps that strap out of your way when you're loading. So sometimes it's those little subtle features that can really make a big difference in the usability of the rack. So in this case, I'll be loading a fairly conventional 26 inch wheel mountain bike. All I have to do is lift and set it into the tray. So this hook can come up all the way up for a 29 inch wheel and then all the way down to a, tw to a 20 inch wheel, no adapters are needed. So there's not too many racks that can do that. Uh, this one has that capability to cover that full range. So when I when I set this hook, I want to make sure that it comes down, that it comes down as close to the first point of contact without touching. So I'll get it in place. Once it makes contact, I want to give it some more firm clicks and make sure it has a good 
uh, firm connection there. At this point, I can also utilize the integrated cable lock. So that's housed inside this, this ratcheting arm. So one of the great benefits of having a cable that's right there is convenience. And if it's convenient, you're much more likely to use it. And so that's a key, key uh, aspect of security. If you have a convenient lock that you're gonna use it, then you're bound to be more likely to use it and less likely to leave the bike exposed to theft being unlocked. So the key that I've used that locked uh, the hitch bolt lock is the same key for this cable lock and for the second bike's cable lock. Now some other aspects as far as the fit. So I, I mentioned this is a mountain bike tire. It can go all the way up to three inch wide mountain, mountain bike tires, but of course it can also go down to narrow road bikes as well. So it's great for carrying mountain bikes and road bikes. Uh, now you have the rear wheel straps, which slide back and forth in a track. And you wanna line that up with basically the center of the axle. So this, this rack can accommodate bicycles with a wheelbase all the way up to a 48 inch wheelbase. So this strap will wrap around those, uh, extend out to that length of a bike. Also another uh, nice feature about the trays is that there are multiple settings where if you have your second bike and there's interference between the handlebars and the seat of the second bike, you can offset the two bikes by repositioning it in one of these uh, selections of, of the holes, the, the fasteners. Okay, so now that we have it in this position, I'll go ahead and, uh, and tilt the rack down. I pull that lever and just rotate the rack down. And then now I can go ahead and open up the rear tailgate so you can see how you have plenty of clearance to access your gear. You can easily walk back here, access helmets, uh, sit down, put on your, your cycling shoes, whatever you need to do there. And then, uh, and then after that, pull the bike off and go for the ride. So uh, also when you go to put it back into the carrying position, um, you don't have to touch that button, but you just have to lift down here and rotate it back up. So another uh, nice feature about this rack it, on the two inch receiver version, there is the ability to add a third bicycle to this to this uh, to the end of the rack so as it is right now this each of these two trays can accommodate up to 60 pound bicycles two 60 pound bicycles if you add that third bike position that can accommodate a 40 pound bicycle so next I'll go ahead and unlock the rack and I'll show how this is easily stowed back there for when you need it next Sometimes you have to give it a quarter turn for it to get seated down into that, that socket there. When you unload a bike, you do everything in reverse. I'll press this button here. I'll hold the bike. And here's the, the button to release that hook. You just press that in, lift it up, and then now you can release the bike. So a bike can be loaded and unloaded in less than 10 seconds. So I'll move this into the stowed position. Now it's ready to drive off. One last thing, which is a nice feature, is a garage uh, storage device is included. You simply bolt this up to a stud in your garage, and this is uh, a section here where uh, the rack hangs from its hitch pin. So a little clever, nice uh, add-on feature that's included with this rack. So those are all the key features of the Rocky Mounts split rail. I'm Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Please visit our website for complete details, our pricing and promotions, and I do thank you for watching.